Sandland, the land of sand. Hello, welcome. I'm Chris. Uh, another edition, um, and I'm very, very uh, um, sort of enthusiastic about something that I have uh, just sort of refocused on. Um, got the nice weather going. You hear the afternoon traffic outside, but I don't mind because this fragrance that I'm going to be reviewing is um, is having such a nice aura and it's really becoming sort of my uh, new signature fragrance the only thing the only downside to this fragrance is uh, and I will maybe explain a bit later that it's, it's I think it's discontinued but uh, here and there is still available and I had this in my collection for such a long time and I just reached back to it the other day and I realized back when I used it first I used it in the wrong sort of timing and wrong sort of even time of the year you know and now it's spring and uh, I thought you know let's reach for it and I, I reached for it and it just blew me away so I had to I used the bottle I got another bottle what are we talking about you can maybe see that I'm really enthusiastic about this fragrance uh, because it's really something that comes very very extremely close to the fragrance that I like as a signature scent um, it's a designer fragrance. It's an Italian designer fragrance. It's from the house of Nino Cerruti. And the fragrance itself is... <laughs> yeah, baby, it's this one. It's this one. Can you guess it? Yeah, you can guess it. There it goes. There you go. But, but, wait, 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 wait. You may see it here, right? It's the intense version of the 1881 by Nino Ceruti. Um, and, a, and a fantastic thing about this is that it is, uh, has been released in 2008. Oh my good God almighty. Um, oh, I love this thing, man. I tell you. Um, 2008 October, Norbert Bijaoui is the nose and there are loads of notes in there uh, basil fir um yang yang fresh bergamot um, lavender leather pine oak moss sandalwood bergamot i think i've said but uh, it's it's absolutely there um leather uh, mahogany mahogany I think that's how it's, you know, the wood, uh, definitely, especially in the dry, dry down, together with sandalwood, these two woods. Uh, this stuff, you know, because the, the bottle is so gorgeous as well, just look at this, will you? It's amazing, right? Um, I love the texture of the bottle, you know, this rough, uh, the whole thing is great. But forget about the notes, forget about all that. Uh, what I want to say about this fragrance is really... Um, why do I like it so much? It has, it's sort of a perfect package. The appearance is perfect. Um, it's not very often used, although it's a flanker. Um, it's not very common. Um, it, it, it is a flanker of a very, very famous Charuti released in 1881 from 1990, uh, which is still in production, you know, very popular. Um, this is sort of an more woody version of it almost like amped up but the performance is much better on this fragrance much better much better it lasts throughout the day you know and it has a great development from this fresh piney oceanic but not aquatic not aquatic this is something that you you know i don't know stand on the on the, on, on the shores of the Atlantic, you know, and, 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 or, or, or even on a, I don't know, a wooden porch or something, you know, or a patio, and then uh, you just inhale this, you know, wind that blows, you know, you know, and gives you all this, these impressions of, of driftwood and, 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 you know, maybe nearby woods and pine. Uh, it's just, it's just, it is extremely manly refreshing. I would put it in, it's, it's basically aromatic, woody, leathery, piney, if you would want to put it in a category. But to me, is 
is manly refreshing. That would be the, the category I would put it in because it's it has this refreshing quality in a very um, not 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 old manish or, or old style, but still a little bit. You know, it's still because of the pine and the oak moss there and fir maybe. It has this uh, has this classical feeling going on, right? It's, 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 this is this is definitely a man's fragrance, right? But it, it delivers it in a in a very uh, uplifting way, extremely uplifting sense. So, so natural, so um, this fragrance is gifted. Uh, it is, it is really to me um, um, uh, almost like a masterpiece. Even though it's a flanker designer flanker release, you know, would you expect it? Maybe not. But it's really delivering, and it's it, it, it didn't, you know, didn't arrive well into the market because it's after a few years it's sort of disappearing. Um, and that shows you also that it's not uh, uh, sort of in the trend of anything. Uh, of not, it's not aquatic, it's not citrus, it's not, it's, it's really an aromatic, manly, fresh, piney, mossy, um, a bit of citrus is in there, right? A bit of bergamot, I would say. Um, but also loads of other things, you know, uh, like a young, young forza, uh, forza. Getting my, my Italian is creeping out of me. Forse, eh, un pochino di, eh, di bergamotta, un pochino di eh, yang yang, perché io penso che possiamo dire se... Yeah, there you go. Um, did you see this makes me crazy here, you know? Uh, I love the pine in it. I, I love pine in general. Oak moss is great in there. And they're all playing like a night's orchestra and they just give you a fresh, this fresh blast throughout the day. Projection and longevity are very good. Um, uh, silage also. But you're not you're not killing anyone, you know. But two, three sprays, maybe two on the chest, uh, and then two more. <laughs> okay, you're going for four sprays, but then you fill really the room, and people entering in the room would fill it. So do it here, like here in the bathroom, right? And you walk out, and throughout the day, it's going to be with you, and to dry down with this piney, mossy, sandalwoody, um, mahogany. Mahogany is that that's how you call it? Uh, is there and, and it's the dry down is to die for it's amazingly good. I just I'm totally you know I'm I'm totally uh, blown away by this fragrance and I I'm already thinking where I can get more. I would like to to have 10 12 bottles of this, you know, in stock uh, in my in my fragrantic freezer that I have that I will reintroduce in the next edition uh, of Scentland. And this is resting in that freezer as well. It's a, actually, it's a wine cooler, not a freezer. Um, yeah, so this stuff, um, in regards to age, uh, that's now, yeah, above 30, you know. It's maybe not something for, for the younger generation. Uh, but uh, I have received also uh, compliments on this. Uh, I'm, I'm above 40, so it fits me, I think, perfectly. Um, much better than the original. The original is nice, sort of, the reformulation of the original is sort of fading away quite quickly, not this one. This is intense, right? And it's not only intense because it's longer lasting than the original, it, it performs better. It, it is enhanced in its ingredients, right? It's not just a intense, more intense version of the original. No, this is more, more refined, more, more fresh, more more woody though, more piney, more mossy. Everything is more, uh, and it's and again, it's, it's longevity is just it's just amazing. Very, very, very good release. Cheruti, 1881, Pohom, intense, right? 2008, Norbert Bijawi, man, boy, it's so beautiful. Good girl, my salute you, Neil. It's really nice. Uh, Sorry for being too enthusiastic, but you know when you when you look for a fragrance. Actually, I had this on the shelf, not this bottle, another bottle, for for years, and I used it, you know. But uh, but I, di I didn't think that you know I'm gonna reach back to it, and I did. Just it's and it's a very springtime summer fragrance, maybe even autumn. Not that much winter, but the best for springtime. So I totally adore using this at the moment, um, and. I actually ask you for a favor. Uh, if you locate this anywhere, 
and you know you don't need it yourself please let me know please let me know because I would be looking to get this wherever I can so your help is highly uh, appreciated in advance and thanks again for watching um, I'm Chris this was another edition of Scentland the land of scent uh, this time again from the bathroom but it's a perfect place to apply this one uh, and the sunshiny aspect is just giving the freshness to it yes so thank you very much see you soon in the next edition we'll introduce uh, the Sandland uh, fragrance cooler, yeah, and 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 not only the cooler, but what inside, what's inside as well. So thanks very much again. Take care. Bye bye. It was a pleasure. Ci vediamo. Which button do I have to press here? This one.